Uh, We're running live. Awesome. Hey guys, we are fixing to do our first show of the day. So remember to tune in and check us out live on Mountain Fun Life. And remember to like, share, comment. And the most important thing is to share, share, share. Share, share, share. And the show is going to be great. It's going to be a great day. We've got a lot of awesome guests. So don't forget to tune in. All right, Rhonda, roll that video, girl. The entire family of Basquando products delivers the results you need to compete at any level. Find Basquando products at www.basquando.com. Also, like and follow Basquando on Facebook or feel free to email Jeff at basquando.com. Basquando Custom Bass Tackle is a proud sponsor of Life in the Smokies with Laura. Thanks, Basquando. Smokies with Laura and I'm your host Laura and guys I just want to thank our sponsor Basquando. If you love fishing Basquando has everything that you need and actually I'm wearing one of the awesome shirts it's actually one of my favorite and Jeff is just the greatest you can find him at Jeff at Basquando.com and he has everything that you need so remember to check that out. He just has the best stuff, and I'm actually the Basquando girl, and you'll see me modeling all the apparel. So check that out, and thanks again for being our sponsor. Today, we have a great guest. You guys are from Our Place. This is Deanne, and I'm so sorry. Amber. Amber, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being on the show. Thank you, Laura. It was so great to have you guys. So you guys... I'm so excited to visit your store. I mean, I just love what you have. You have books and coffee, and I've seen some of the best pastries that look so yummy. And you've already interviewed Tony from Crust and Crumb, so yes. you already know how wonderful his stuff is. Oh. We're so proud to carry him. Oh, man, and he has the best stuff. Yes. I was in heaven. Yes, we've yes. been there for almost 14 years, and we've carried um, donuts and things from here and there. We love him. Everyone is over the top. I've had people have eaten his eclairs and just gone on and on. It was the best they've ever had anywhere. Mm. So many wonderful things to brag about. We're yeah. very proud to carry him. Yeah, yeah. And he is just an awesome person, he is. too. Yeah. So funny and so sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where's, where are you guys located? Um, we are about 18 miles going north on 321 from Gatlinburg. We're kind of in between Gatlinburg and Newport, Tennessee. Okay. Um, if you know where Donna Joe's Subway is and DJ's Market, we're right in between. We have big coffee banners out on the front. We live up front in the house, and our store is in the back. Oh, cool. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in business there? Uh, about 13 and a half years now. Um, it's been a long run because a lot of things, you know, tend to come and go. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're pretty proud. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've seen, like I said, I've seen a lot of the stuff that mm -hmm. you guys have. And a lot of people don't expect that out in the middle of nowhere, there's going to be a real bookstore. Mm -hmm. And even when people are outside sometimes, um, they'll say things like, you know, oh, do you have more stuff inside? Because we have a lot of clearance books and stuff outside. Mm -hmm. um, and then when they step inside, they're like, oh, my. I hear wow all the time, just walking in the door, wow. Um, we have about 100,000, give or take, books, a lot more than that, actually. Um, we do books on tape, DVDs, CDs, organic coffees, um, pastries, candles, soap. Mm -hmm. um, we have a local guy who makes awesome uh, concrete statues, yard art. Oh, wow. We have gnomes, mushrooms, bears, alligators, puppies, cats, m you name it. Um, he does really nice stuff. People mm -hmm. don't usually just buy one piece. Yeah. Um, they love our prices. That's another thing that we're known for. Mm -hmm. um, even the park service books, we carry everything, the hiking Bibles, um, day hikes, um, all the books basically that you would get at any of the park service, at the uh, park welcome centers. Mm -hmm. um, and we still discount them, even though 
most places don't. Yeah. Um, we like for people to come and buy a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, if you get a, you know, a common book that might be $25, we might have $8 on it. Wow. If it's out in our bargain bin, it might be 2 bucks. So yeah, that's great. People like to stock up. Of course. Um, we joke about how people will just come in for a cup of coffee, and then we're helping them out with so many bags or boxes and stuff. They just don't expect it on the side of the road because a lot of places can be a tourist trap. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's really, really great. I see all your coffees over there. Wow. Yes. Um, oh, I love coffee. <laughs> we do, too, and we like to do coffee right. Mm -hmm. um, this is Larry's Beans. We've carried them for about a decade now. Um, we carry all different varieties from light roast, medium roast, dark roast. Um, this particular one, we worked with Larry's for about six weeks to de develop this roast. Mm -hmm. um, it's a medium dark. It's everyone's favorite, but, yeah. you know, there are others to choose from. Um, after we had the wildfires, um, Gatlinburg and stuff, we were pushing, getting our coffee out to the firefighters over by Cobley. Um, I had to call them up and say we needed our coffee, like right away. Mm -hmm. They not only sent me the order, but five pound bags to continue doing what I was doing on their dime. Wow. They're phenomenal on every level. Um, I encourage everyone, if you're out of town or something, look them up, uh, larryscoffee.com. Mm -hmm. All organic, fair trade, shade grown, outstanding coffees. And uh, we're doing our open house this weekend. And so um, we're going to have some surprises that we'll talk about later on our Facebook page. Awesome. Awesome. You guys have got to check it out. That sounds so great. So how long is the open house going on? Um, all weekend through okay. about Sunday at about 7, give or take. Okay. Um, being that we live up front, we're very flexible in our hours. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I say we're going to be open at 8 or 9 and I'm open at 7.30. Last night I said we were closing at 8 and I was out there till past 9. Wow. Summertime, we might be out there at 9 or 10. Yeah. It's kind of like this, you know, we have relationships with people all over the country. And people kind of come to visit as well as shop and catch up, and they've seen the kids grow up. Aww. When we first came, my kids were 2 and 10. Wow. And now we're going to be 16 and 23. I'll be 24. 24. Wow. <laughs> my gosh. Yes. That's so cool. It is. Wow. Yes. So uh, do you, now do you guys ship? Yes. You do? Um, people will come in, get a cup of coffee, take home a bag or two, and then I get a phone call that says, I need this coffee. So, yeah, we can get seven of these bags in a flat rate box. We can get four of the big ones in a flat rate box and hold you off till you can come back to see us. We do it all the time. We ship uh, five days a week. Oh, that's so yes. awesome. I love that. We can also do that with books and stuff because media mail is very inexpensive. Um, I sell a lot on Amazon and I'll, I'll put a rack card in with people's order and then everyone comes to the Smokies um, so they'll either call me, say, you know, they need books shipped, or they come see us, and then they have more books shipped, too. Um, it works. That is so cool. Yes. Wow. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because I always had a, uh, as a little girl, I always had a dream of having like my own coffee shop, mm -hmm. like in a bookstore with like little couches, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of like a homey look, mm -hmm. and like in a big city, but, you know, walking into this little coffee shop. And it's just like very homey with couches and coffee mm -hmm. and books. And so, you know, whenever mm -hmm. I look at this, you know, your pictures and your place, it's mm -hmm. just kind of, that's kind of what it makes me think of is like the little dream that I used right. to have of having my own little place. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have room inside for seating. Mm -hmm. um, our place is relatively small. It's mm -hmm. packed. We I do have bet. some outdoor seating. Yeah. You can go sit out there and, you know, have a pastry and your coffee. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're jam-packed with things. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Now, what is your best seller? Uh, for sure, the Smoky Mountain Blend. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, top shelf. Everybody recognizes it, mm -hmm. and everyone loves it. It's what I serve most of the time. If you want a darker roast, I can make you something darker. Whatever you like, we can make for you. We do cappuccinos, lattes, Ooh. iced coffee, you name it. Yeah. Yes, and just exceptionally smooth stuff. I love talking about them because they're a great company. Yeah. It, it says a long time, uh, a, you know, a big thing when you carry someone for that long mm -hmm. and you have a great relationship. Definitely. We go down to Raleigh and um, they have uh, nitro cold brew that you get right on tap and it's just like, yes. It's so good. Oh, it's wow. amazing stuff. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. If you're in the Raleigh area, stop in. Yeah. Yes. They no. do coffee tastings and all kinds of things. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I've always been interested in that because I don't know a whole lot about coffee. I know, you know, 
what I'm used to drinking. Yes. And so I've always wondered if there was a place where you could taste, like yes. do coffee tasting. They are into the science of it. They oh, wow. will educate you on such a level. That's awesome. Their crew is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, we just, there's, check them out. <laughs> yeah, oh, I would definitely, yes. definitely. Yeah, they're on that. Facebook also, obviously, so. Awesome. And yes, stop Very in. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to come by your place. Too. Yes. Yeah. We're going to get you hooked on this I'll, stuff I want sure. some of that Smoky Mountain blend. You're already getting a bag on us. So. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Yay. Very cool. Very free cool. coffee is always better, right? Oh, my gosh. Any kind of coffee is better, but you know, especially free. People come into our store a lot of times, and they think they're just getting a cup of coffee, and they're pulling out their wallet or their purse. And I'm like, hang on and go have a look around. Yeah. So many times, by the time they're done shopping, I'm not charging them for their coffee. Oh, that's great. We give away a lot of coffee. Wow, yeah. and that definitely is going to be something that keeps people coming back. Oh, yeah, people. Because that, that, you know, I mean, you don't get that anywhere. Not these days. No, We're you We're kind really of a don't. throwback. Yeah. People, um, you know, Gatlinburg's evolved into a, a different thing than it was 30 years ago. We're still kind of like that mom and pop place. Yeah. And people appreciate that. Like I said, we have relationships. We talk with people from all over the country. Yeah. People let me know I have people coming today. You know, they're they're in town, can't wait to see me this afternoon. It's it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps people coming back. Definitely. definitely. Yep. Yeah. That's Something to be said numbers. for being in business on a road where people are flying by 55 miles an hour. Well, they're really going faster, but. Right. And then they turn around, they come back. And once we get you to stop in once, chances are you're going to be a lifelong customer. Yeah. 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 And that's what people, especially from out of town, are looking for. Yes. They're looking for that little hole in the wall place that yes. not a lot of people know about. And, you know, that's what they develop. And, you know, I know of a place that I'm that way, and it's like an hour and a half away. Yes. And I go there, and it's the only place in the world. Yes. And it's my favorite. Yes. And I've developed, you know, a, re a relationship with the people, and it's my favorite in the whole wide world. Yes. And I've been all over the world. And yes. so it's like, I will drive an hour and a half just to go there. Yes. So, I mean. I have people who, when they come into town, they'll come on day one. Yeah. You no, know, they get their coffee, this, that, whatever. Okay, see, in a day or two, they go off to the hikes, come in, da-da. We're the last things they hit before they go back out. Mm -hmm. um, but something else I think that's important to be said is our local base. Mm -hmm. If you're in a tourist area, a lot of times people don't shop at touristy places. Right. We have an amazing local base. Yeah. Uh, we carry a lot of people's local products. Um, and people shop with us. They come in daily for their coffee, for their whatever. Oh, I ran out of soap. Oh, I need this. I need that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys yes. so much for being on the show. Oh, well, thank you for thank having you. us. That's awesome. Well, thanks guys for watching, and don't forget to tune in to the next episode of Life in the Smokies with Laura. And guys, remember, climb that mountain and have fun in life. See ya. Oh, hey. I was just getting caught up on the latest trends and news of the world. Did you know 80% of content that you watch is online or on your mobile device? Did you know a great new channel that's out right now is called Mountain Fun Life? And you can watch it right on your mobile device or coming soon to Roku. Make sure to check out Mountain Fun Life on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the website mountainfunlife.com. Hello, did you know that most of the stuff shot on Mountain Fun Life is shot right here in this very studio? And maybe you've wanted your own show before. I mean, how cool would it be to be in a studio like this one with your very own show? Just go to mountainfunlife.com for more information and you can submit to have your own show and you can be right here.